Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Revan here and welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to give you my best 9 tips when using a Wacom tablet in Photoshop. This is more orientated to a beginner with when you just bought your Wacom tablet, so here are my 9 tips. First of all, when you installed your Wacom tablet, you will have this screen and that is the settings of your Wacom tablet. My first tip is go to the grid pen. Go to the grid pen, uh, go to application and add Photoshop. Here you go. All right, so you add the program Photoshop and now you can change the settings of your pen specifically when you're using Photoshop. So we're gonna go to Photoshop and my tip is change this button right over here. The first one, which says right click, you can leave it, you will need it. But this one, the double click, you don't need it. So you change it to a keystroke and what is a really useful keystroke to use? Command Z, the undo function. When you're painting and brushing, it's really useful to have that keystroke on your pen because you will have one uh, wrong line and you don't want to all the time go back to your keyboard. So now you can just brush and remove the last brush you've made with the pen. Here you go. Tip number two, change the mapping of your, of your Wacom tablet. What is mapping? If you go over here, you can see my tablet. I am currently using two screens. And if I'm, I wanna draw on Photoshop on my left screen, which is the bigger screen, which I normally use for Photoshop, the aspect ratio of my tablet is completely wrong. And I wanna have more uh, sense and more feeling in what I do, more control. So you can change the screen area to the monitor you're using for Photoshop. Monitor one. So now you can see when I'm in Photoshop, my tablet, entire tablet, just covers that screen. If I go, for example, to uh, Google Chrome or another program, as you can see, it changes back to everything. So now when I'm in Photoshop, it's just on that monitor. All right, so tip number three, it's actually an extension of tip number two, and that is this button over here, enable force proportions. What does it do? As you can see, the aspect ratio of the tablet screen is different than the aspect ratio of my monitor. If I use that, as you can see, it changes a little bit. So the aspect ratio of my tablet is now the same as my screen. So if I draw a perfect circle on my tablet, it will draw a perfect circle on my screen. Here you go. All right. Tip number four, and that is changing a function on your tablet. On your Wacom tablet, you have uh, all, these, all these buttons on the left side. If you go to functions, you can see them right over here. I would suggest change this one to a keystroke, a very important keystroke, because we have all had it. It's happened to all of us. You're in the middle of an amazing project. You have an amazing uh, sketch, amazing drawing, uh, some graphic design, and it fucks up. So what do you do? Command S. So every time you you just press the button on your on your tablet and it's all good. You just saved it. So that single button is the most important function in every project and that's save your project. All right, cool. Number five. Now we're gonna get into Photoshop. All right, cool. So we're gonna get a blank uh, a blank space. We're gonna go to that one. And we're going to enable the brush tool. We're going to press press B for the brush tool. Here we go. All right. As you can see right now, no matter how hard or how soft I press, it's all the same thick line. We have to enable the pen pressure. And how do you do that? You go to Window and you go to Brush Settings. And then this will pop up. We've got Shape Dynamics. So you're going to enable that and make sure that Control is set to pen pressure. Now, if I press really soft, the line is really thin. And as I press harder, the line will get thicker. So you have more control on the thickness of your line. So you don't have to uh, change the brush size every single time. You just have to press harder or softer to control the thickness of your brush. You can change the minimum diameter. So for example, if I put it to a 30%, so you can see over here, it's now really thin. This is the thinnest. And if I put it on 30%, the minimum amount of the, the line is 30%. So it's a little bit thicker, a little bit thinner, but not that drastically. So the thickness of the line is shape dynamics. Then we got transfer, that's the second one. And transfer means, if you go over here, 
is the opacity of the line. So if I put it to pen pressure, and if I put shape dynamics off for a second, it's a really, really, the opacity is really low. And if I press harder, the line won't get, you will use more ink. That is transfer. It's the same over here. You could put the opacity jitter or the, or the flow or the minimum uh, harder or softer, whatever you want. You can put them both together. If you put them both together, if you press really soft, you will get a really thin line with less opacity. If you press hard, it will get thicker and darker. Here you go. These are the two main things with pen pressure. All right. Tip number six. These are some shortcuts which is gonna which are gonna help you out with your with, with your efficiency efficiency and your workflow. So we're gonna get rid of all these things. We're gonna press the back button on our pen a couple of times to get rid of all of it. All right, we're gonna put transfer off. If I want to change change the brush size, I will go up here. I will use the bracket keys on my keyboard, but you can use a shortcut, and that is a control option click and drag. If I go from left to right, my brush will get uh, smaller or bigger. If I go up and down, I will change the hardness. So it's command or control option click and drag on Mac and it's alt right click and drag on Windows. So that's a, sh a really helpful shortcut. So let's say I want to draw something over here with a really small hard brush. Can go over here. If I want to make it bigger and Less hotter. Here you go. Cool. All right. Tip number seven, and that is when you use a mouse, it's really easy to to uh, move around on your on your project and zoom in, zoom out. With a tablet, it's changed a little bit. So to zoom in and zoom out, you use Option and Spacebar. And if you go to the left, you will zoom out. And if you zoom uh, go to the right, you will zoom in. So left is out, right is in. And that is Control Spacebar on Windows. So, con so Option Spacebar on Mac, and Control Spacebar on Windows. So let's say I zoomed in and I want to go up. I just press Spacebar. So it's Option Spacebar or Control Spacebar to zoom in, zoom out, and just Spacebar to drag it around. Cool. Now it's a uh, a problem. It's the same with the mouse. If you want to draw a straight line, how do you do it? All right. So here you go. So let's say I want to have a straight line right over here all right it's not straight it's a bit better an easy way to draw straight lines is to hold shift so i press here i hold shift and i go to the right and it's a perfect straight line it's same for up and down i press here hold shift and i go down so hold shift when you want to draw a straight line all right number nine and this is the final tip practice Honestly, just practice. So we're going to get rid of all of this. And the best way to practice is get rid of your mouse, unplug it, put it in your closet and don't use it. Another good tip is go to Google, get an image. For example, I got this image of Goku. It's my, oh, that's cool. And you're just going to trace it. You're just going to with your pen, you're going to change it. You're going to zoom in with option space bar. You're going to zoom in, get your brush. All right. And you're just going to trace it. And at the end, you will, you will get used of using the Wacom tablet and the pen. And here you go. So these were my best nine tips for beginners in Photoshop using the Wacom tablet. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you have questions, just put them on there. I will read every single one of them and answer every single one of them in a couple of days. And yeah, see you later. Cheers. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If not, refresh it, give it another chance. Got questions? Just ask them in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video.